The main theorem of calculus has shown that uh, integration is basically the Im an inverse operation to differentiation. And we make uh, use of that by finding uh, primitives like uh, the substitution rule for indefinite integrals can be seen as an inverse application of the chain rule for differentiation. So consider some function on an interval i, a real valued function f, which is continuous, and some other function u, which is defined as a function g of x, which is differentiable such that the range of g is contained in the interval i, so that we may look at the composition of f and g. Now what we find is that if we look at the integral, indefinite integral, f composed with g times g prime x, that we may substitute for g of x by including u and uh, remove the part g prime x dx and write du. Well, a proof of this is as follows. Afterwards, we will uh, look, uh, we'll be looking at some examples, but since f is continuous on an interval i, then we know that f has a primitive yeah, on this interval i. Well, let's assume for the moment that i is just an open interval, so that f prime equals f on i. Yeah, so we may construct, using the main theorem of calculus, we may construct a primitive capital F of f on i. So this is a differentiable function. So if we look at the composite function f of g of x and calculate the, its derivative, then the derivative is found using the chain rule for differentiation. So we get f prime composed with g of x times the derivative of the inner function, which is g prime of x. And we know that f prime equals a small f, so f g x times g prime x is the derivative of f g x. But then this shows that f composed with g is a primitive of the function f g x g prime x on i. Yeah, so f composed with g is the primitive of the integrand on the of the integral that we've seen above. Yeah, so. So if this is a primitive, then we know that the indefinite integral, yeah, so the indefinite integral stands for the class of all primitives of the function f g x times g prime x. And this can be written in general as the capital F of g plus a constant. Yeah, so the class of primitives, they, two members in the class of primitives, they differ by a constant. But f of the g of x also equals f u, since u equals g of x plus c. But then uh, this again uh, equals the class of primitives of f prime with respect to u, right? It's just writing f u differently. And uh, since we know the f prime equals f, we see that actually we established our result. So in the coming, we will look at how this can be used to find primitives or the indefinite integrals of functions.